Alrighty, it's uh, 2012 and we got some new anime to watch. Let's start off with my first anime of the year, Brave 10. This is the story of a wandering samurai named Saizo Kirigakure, who stumbles upon a priestess named Nami Isa running for her life. At first he didn't want to get involved, but the surrounding assassins about to kill him and the priestess made him think, crap, too late. He escorts the priestess to a lord named Yukimura Sanada, who's trying to defeat a rogue warrior named Takugawa Iyasu by forming a strong team called Brave 10. When it felt like he was getting dragged into this, Saizo gives in and decides to join Brave 10. When I first watched the trailer, I was curious to watch this. The artwork looked great, the action seemed top notch, and the warriors are just... hot. Yeah, we got some new candidates for the top 32 sexy men of anime 2012. You're welcome, ladies! Then I watched the first episode. It met my expectations with the art and action, but then I realized something. Ten warriors that are mostly beautiful men, and one girl in the middle of this? Um, is this an action hero? I didn't think I'd ever seen anything like this. I, I was fooled with the action and story, but yeah. This is a samurai ninja sword clanging action harem. I'm not sure if this is good or bad. Male harems can be predictable and boring, with some exceptions. I'll continue to watch more for the story, but here's what I'm expecting. The warriors appear one by one, priest dislikes them, they beat the bad guy, and the girl ends up with the first guy she meets in the story. The end. I'd love it if you prove me wrong. I love it if you do. Anyways, I love the main guy, Saizo. Why? Because he's not that handsome warrior waiting to save his princess when she's in danger. Nope, he's a hardcore realist. Nami approaches him begging for his help and he responds, Why? More than likely, you're in a mess that'll just get me killed if I help you. Instead of getting people involved with your problems, just face the music. Finally! An anime male lead that can be believable! However, this is a bit of a problem since uh, Nami is an overbearing whiner who has high expectations on how handsome men with swords are supposed to behave. Yep, this girl has a damsel in distress card and she knows how to use it. Let me just sum her up real quick. Oh, my temple burned down to the ground. Everyone in you died. I'm the only survivor and the half assassin's trying to kill me. Hey, you look like a warrior. Save me, protect me, carry me. If you're a real man, fight for my life and take me to see Lord Sonata. You have to. You're supposed to be a man. I'm gonna hate you so much. She's definitely a contender for our next A-list, top 10 most annoying characters. But believe me, in this wide world of anime, we found 10 characters worse than her. I'll have to watch more to see if it's good, but so far it's turning out to be an unexpected action male harem with one great character and one annoying character. Not sure what to think of this, but if you're in the mood for some good action with hot warriors, watch Brave 10. Hope you liked this review. If there's any animes you wish for us to review, let us know. We'll do our best to review each anime we get our hands on. Some we'll recommend, and maybe some we'll tell you to steer clear from. For more updates on Anime America projects, just go to our Facebook page and like us! If you wish to support our production by purchasing our merchandise, just go to cafepress.com slash Anime America Podcast. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned to Anime America!